Hey, welcome back to Kid Who Come Deliverance. Last time, we talked to Yohanka because she has a quest for us. That we have to do to do Siege. Alright. Help with the Really? I'm not needed here. Okay. Christ above! I can't get a wink of sleep. What are you making such a fuss about? A fuss? Because of my leg, I have to stay here for at least another week. Hurts like fuck. And with everyone else moaning and groaning all night, I can't get any sleep. Why don't you go and lie somewhere else? I can't. Not with this leg. Maybe I can make you something to help you sleep. Oh, then for God's sake, do it quickly! God be with you. Okay. Excuse me. Now wait. Actually, his is easy. We don't have to really make him, son. We'll just go buy something. You're the one who's. Yes, I'm the Infirmarius what the here. Time was I only had a few elderly monks who couldn't walk to take care of. Now I have this mess to deal with. Monks so old they can't hold themselves up with their own legs. Oh, if that were the only bodily function they could control. Hmm. But I shouldn't talk like that. It's a blessing to live to such an age. How about some potion to induce heavy sleep? Certainly. The old reliable. Reliable? Some of the brothers like a good sleep. And sometimes that's the only way to get one. I'll show you how. Thanks. Okay, that's That was weird, wounded. He just needs to sleep. What do you want? Oh, better be something important. You're not from Scallet? No, but please help me. I can't stay here. What happened to you? I was working on the building when the scaffolding up by the roof collapsed underneath me. Well, then you're very lucky you survived at all. Yes, that's what everyone tells me. But it's no use being alive if all I can do is lie here like a wet sack of barley. Hmm. Well, you're pretty battered, but I don't see anything that a few weeks rest can't fix. Weeks? Oh my god, I have to get back to work sooner than that. You need steroids. What's the problem? <laughs> Why can't you stay until you heal? I have a family. I'm poor. It's only thanks to the building work that we can survive. And the master told me, if I don't come back in a few days, then I shouldn't come back at all. And where can me and my wife go then? Who'll take us in? We'll end up living in the woods, where any bandit or ruffian can sit on us. How can I help? Is there anything I can do to help? It looks like they took care of your wounds. When I was little, my father got trampled on by a horse. And an old hag from the village gave him some kind of purple herbs for it. And he got better very quickly. And do you remember what the herbs were? I don't. But there's supposed to be the whole cursed knowledge of the world in this place. Something has to be written about it. A herbarium. Anything. I'll try to find something. Thank you. Thank purple you. Purple herbs? Good luck to you. What's going on? You look all right. Mostly, but my leg still hurts. I see a pattern here. The humans wound you. <laughs> That's what I tell the ladies. Truth is, I did myself a mischief while I was running away. Mm. And do they rebandage it for you? Occasionally. They told me they don't have enough bandages. Well, that's no use. Those bandages need changing. I'll get some. I have Good some. You. Why not? He just needs to sleep. He'll be able to get out of this on his own. So many people. Matthews, wait a minute. He just needs to sleep. Hmm. He's not reacting. 
But all I can see that's wrong with him is his leg. I have to ask you, Hanka. Philip, from Scalit. Hmm. I don't see any wounds, but he's shaking terribly. So many things they have to do. Okay, so. Where is you, Hanka? Everything here is fine. I'm not needed here. Okay. What do you want, Brother Elias? And who are you? Brother Elias. I can tell you that. What do you do here? What I can. I'm just trying to help the Scalots locals as much as I can. I can't even see you. How long have you been helping here? Since before the refugees arrived. It was much less crowded back then. And what do you do here exactly? Mainly, I help Brother Nicodemus. Occasionally, I keep watch at night in case someone takes a turn for the worse. Sometimes I have to hold a patient down and fetch and carry things. Do you know anything about healing? A little. I can manage the basics, but without Brother Nicodemus, I'd never be able to deal with the more difficult cases. Thank you. How oh. long have you... Oh, button. Thank you. All right. So I've come to ask for help. Again? Their lordships. Oh, that, that one I need. We need to do this quest first. That's what we're doing now. How are the wounded from Scalit? Some of them are well taken care of, but others, others are dying here needlessly. It's a good thing we have Johanka here. I'd never be able to manage on my own. But you don't normally treat the wounded then? Well, there were accidents, of course. A broken leg, someone who'd been kicked by a cow or bitten by a goat. But this, I've never dealt with. Carnage battle before. If only it had been a battle. This was cold blooded slaughter. You were there? God be merciful to you and the dead and the wounded. How can I help you? Have you talked to Johanka? I did. Well, if you know something about it, then go and take a look. However, you don't look like you've studied the Hippocratic arts. That's true. I'm the son of a blacksmith. But I have been around the wounded before. What do I do if I'm not sure of the treatment? Come and speak to me. We'll see what we can do. The what do you think about the custodian? Baron von Berg? Well, he does his job well. He keeps us safe here. And the last time I saw him was when I was rubbing ointment on his rash. I heard he's been here a lot lately. That's true. He comes to visit Johanka. But he's never here long and always leaves. He wants Johanka for himself. <laughs> Thank you. What happened to Philip? Philip? He's unconscious. He's shivering and he has a fever. Ah, I didn't know that. When he first came here, he was fine. No wounds on him. He was escorting the others. But then he got worse and worse until he lost consciousness entirely. Ask Johanka. Maybe she'll know more. Okay. Do you know anything about herbs? Herbs. Herbs. I'm an expert. But I know a little something. Is it urgent? Well, one of the workers who was injured during construction would like to get back to work. He mentioned some purple flowers that would... Herbs. Oh. Purple herbs that should help. Mm. I couldn't tell you off the top of my head, but you can have a look in the herbarium here. There won't be too many purple herbs for bruises and sprains. All right, I think we're pretty set. Herbarium. Uh, was this ailments? Okay, no. Poison wards, remedies. I can't sleep again. 
game. Oh, uh, we should be able to do this. <laughs> yeah, that's the only thing we need. There's not many meant. <laughs> Sage, okay. Evil spirits is Bad dreams, less headache, uh, after alcohol. It's probably sage. The sage is purple, right? Yeah. Oh! For broken bones, swelling and bruising, and aid against eternal pains from the bones. So, Comfrey. Comfrey is definitely it. Let's see if he has any, because I, I don't want to... Yeah, there's Comfrey right there. Why do you have so much? Alright. His is easy. What are the... Hopefully I have what you need. Thank you. With any luck, I'll soon be feeling better. If you find the time, stop by to see me in a few days. I don't have time. Now. Okay, that was the right thing. I need to get a sleeping potion for him, so let's... Let's see, I can probably make it. Uh, that's not a good start. Okay. Digestive cockerel. It's the energy. It's the opposite of what he wants. We know that. Alright, then he poppy throws on herb Paris. Luckily, he's just right here. Alright, so I need herb Paris. Sure, will take all you got. Poppy. Is that nettle? Was it Thristle? It was one of the two. Faster, Henry! Faster! Poppy. Okay. Alright, we need all. We don't ever use all. Drop the poppy in the cauldron and boil for one turn. All right. That's going to boil. We need thristle. Next. Okay, right, there's a thristle in there. Boil for one more turn. Ooh, 
Oops, I didn't properly boil. I think I boiled it way too hard. Leave to cool and then add the herb paris. I don't think we sold this at the monastery we were doing alchemy there. I can't sleep again. Sweet. I've got something. Really? Drink me. Oh, take care now. Alright, that takes care of him. So all we have left, I think, is Philip and. Greetings, Henry. Well, I'm to Philip. What happened to Philip? Poor man. There was nothing wrong with him, and now he's getting worse every day. But do you know why? Maybe. He didn't run away from Scallets, you see. He hid for days among the corpses. He got poisoned. But what can we do? Make an antidote. Us. Nothing. Only Father Simon might have been able to save him. He knew a lot about poisons. And where is he? You know he left Scallets years ago. And does anyone know where he ended up? <laughs> if you believe the stories about a wild man in the woods, then Rovnar is the place to go. What? Oh. What's wrong with that man by the altar? He doesn't look wounded, but he's really pale. He doesn't react at all. He had a broken leg. A bad one. Ooh. The bone had come right through the skin. We tried to straighten it, but I don't know if we did it right. I'm not holding out much hope for him. I've seen folk in that state before, and it didn't end well. My God. There has to be something we can do. And what do you suggest? The monks won't help, and I don't know anyone else who can. Huh! <laughs> Wait, can I... Well, I can try. I'll straighten his leg. You? I'll give it a go. It's not like I can make it any worse. So you don't know anything. Don't even think about touching that poor man. What about the executioner from Ratai? He usually breaks bones, but he might know something about mending them too. The executioner? Even if you could persuade him to come, they'll never let him in here. Well, maybe it would be enough if he advised me, and then I tried... Look, do whatever you want. Oh, okay, so we have two people left to worry about. <sighs> God, I hate the modesty. Ravna? Where the, where's Ravna at? I feel like we've hit every major city. I mean, there's one city I would love to go to at this point, is Prague, but that's not an option, apparently. I'll see you in Ravna. So I decided to fight a skirmish. Oh, freak, I don't have any food. I'm supposed to get hungry, that's not good. Actually, I speak to which I should probably repair everything because, you know. Keep everything repaired. Makes things better for us. Hi, villager. I'm Henry. My respects to you. From Scallops. I see there's not much going on around here. So you've stayed here on your own? Quite so. All by myself. All the others were either killed by the kings or fled to Rathay. I'm sorry to hear that. And what's keeping you here, alone? My older brother ran away with the wandering players. So when our father was on his deathbed, he made me swear I'd never leave our home. I can see you took your vow seriously. I did. And it's starting to get dangerous around here. Again. The cumin. If it were humans, I'd grab an axe and that would be that. 
But a week back, some rabble made their way through here. They begged me for food, and mark my words, they weren't taking no for an answer. If they'd been just a tad hungrier, I swear they would have stormed the cottage. There are gangs like that around, true enough. I saw I the mess them. they left behind. Savages. It was horrible. People tried to find shelter in the church. But them dogs was waiting. They knew too well that's where folk would try to hide. And where did you hide? By the grace of God, I got my family away into the woods. Well, I don't see your family with you. I hope those bastards didn't sniff them out. No, no. It takes better man than them to track me down. I sent my wife to Rate with some others. Do you think folk will ever go back to their homes? Well, I don't know about scallops, but the folk here are sure to want to come back. The only thing they're missing is spiritual support. Do you mean the priest? Indeed. When the land's at war, noblemen fight to protect their property. But simple folk want someone to tend their souls. Of course. But it was the Scallops parish priest who ministered here, wasn't it? He did. But there's been no sign of him since the attack. Or at least he's definitely not in Rate among the refugees. That's true enough. I didn't see him there. But if you're interested, young fella, maybe you could help us find the priest we need here. I can ask. I always ask. But I've really got no idea where to start. I can help with that. What? A few years ago, there used to be another priest in Scallops. Simon, I think his name was. Simon. Father Simon. I remember him. That's the one who went missing, right? Aye. I don't want to spread rumours, but they say he was in love with his housekeeper. And then she died somehow. That's not a story I've come across. It only reaches folk who care for such tales. Well, to finish the story, Simon left the parish and ran away. You know that already. There was neither sight nor sound of him for a long time. Until this spring, he showed up here. Really? And what's he doing here? That's just it. People say he's become a hermit. All right. Then where can I find him? I couldn't tell you exactly. But you could start by talking to that girl's parents. Well, they live on a farm nearby, and it's likely they know more. They may even have had words with them. I'll go and see what they have to say for themselves. God go with you, lad, and I pray you find one. If some heathen stabs me in my sleep, I'd rather have a decent burial. Don't worry. I'll bring someone. Good luck to you. Oh my god, another quest? I could do with a bite to eat. Alright, I'm gonna be right back. 